Okay, here's an unpleasant surprise. As I was putting my car cover back into place, I never really took it out of place, but I actually have to go in there, get my miles for my registration, etc., etc. But when I was trying to feed the yellow line down the length of the car beneath it, I was fishing around and I came upon this. I don't know if you can see that, but that's some sort of burrow. Looks like something is living beneath the ground beneath my car. Hmm. And it could have been a very unpleasant surprise if I had put my hand too far down there, not knowing what I was doing. But that's why you got to be careful about where you put your hands in unseen spaces, even if it's something you've done a million times. Check it another time. That's why you do it a million and one times. Always look before you put your hands any place where you haven't put in a long time, because there could be unpleasant surprises there. Okay, it is like 4.30 a.m. <laughs> and uh, the sound of barking dogs, growling, snapping, just woke me up. And that's kind of what they left the uh, present for me to clean up looks like a uh, armadillo and it looks like they uh, snapped them up pretty good there were uh, four dogs that did that and uh, by the time I got my stuff together uh, they had cleared off Yeah, I wasn't sure exactly what they were going after, but that's it. I did not actively scare them off. I guess they did what they wanted to do and went about their business. Uh, the first time I shined my light at them, it had no impact. They were just snapping away. So I was pretty quiet and uh, just wanted to see what they were doing. And that's what they were doing. We'll see if they come back and drag them off into the woods, but I doubt it. Okay, so it's been about uh, two hours since the uh, dogs tore up the uh, armadillo. And I was kind of hoping that I would be able to get out here. It's about six o'clock now. I was hoping that I'd be able to get out here and get that guy into the woods or at least out of my yard before the buzzards came but one thing about nature it's very efficient and uh, it doesn't care whether or not you need rest or not but I guess by the time I uh, get out here won't be nothing left but the uh, carapace anyway so oh well Back to house chores. Keeping an eye on those guys. <laughs> yeah. Oh, 
Haven't heard of anyone getting bushwhacked by uh, vultures, or as we like to call them, buzzards. But damn, there are a lot of them. Yuck. Okay, I'm heading into town. I guess they'll be back. It's taken roost up in one of those trees. Just waiting for me to get out of here so they can come back. Okay, if there's anything in the world that I hate worse than moving a dead animal, um, <laughs> I don't know what it is. Jeez, this is something that just freaks me out about <laughs> moving them. But it's one of those tasks that at some point in time must be done. Oh, geez, looking flies. God, oh, I'm going to puke. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to shove this shovel up under him and drag him off into the woods. So you can just see down there, look at that. I think I should be a bio major too. Somewhere along the line, I lost it. Look at that. Listen. You see the freaking flies. Well, that's what you get for burrowing, burrowing under my car. So we're just going to shove this under here real quick and drag it. You can smell it too. Yuck. Get under there. Shouldn't turn my back on this guy. Oh God. <laughs> oh Jesus. I hate this. Okay. I'll look at it. One part's going to be trying to sling it into the woods. <laughs> oh, you know what? I'm not going to throw it all the way into the woods. Sling it up here so that the uh, vultures have a better chance to get them and do what they need to do. So, I'm going to have to put down the camera. No, that wasn't so bad after all, was it? Bye bye. Well, it's all nice and clean now. At least as clean as it can get until the uh, insects do whatever they're going to do with whatever cast off meat or whatever happens to be there. And uh, the rains wash away any staining of blood or whatever the case might be. But I'll tell you what, Leonard Skinner had it right. The smell of death surrounds you. <laughs> With the buzzards in that thing. God, oh, what an odor. Jeez.